Hi, this is Ron with Lakeshore. Today we're gonna to talk about getting the most out of brain breaks. So what is a brain break? A brain break is a quick physical activity to give your body some oxygen and to give your brain a quick shift in activity so you can have more focus and concentration. When your child's doing schoolwork over a period of time, they may lose a little focus. And that's their brain telling them it needs a break. It needs to step back and replenish and refresh so they can go back to their schoolwork with more focus and concentration. Now, here are the three things we're going to cover with brain breaks. We're going to talk about how to identify when you need a brain break. We're going to talk about having choices of brain break activities and also having a routine to do your brain break throughout the day. All right, first, let's talk about the idea of identifying when you need a brain break. You know, is your child starting to show things that are emotional, like frustration? Are they going over the same material over and over again and not really gaining any ground? Are they starting to distract themselves by fidgeting with things around them or looking out a window or maybe talking about something off topic? When you start recognizing these cues and seeing the patterns, that's when you start to realize that's when you need a brain break. And when you start seeing the patterns, share this with your child so they can start recognizing their own patterns and they can decide when they need their own brain break. Now let's talk about having choices. You want a lot of choices for brain breaks so you can have a lot throughout the day and you want those choices to come from both you and your child. So for younger children, it might be just the idea of taking a nursery rhyme and just doing whatever physicality goes with that nursery rhyme. So for example, it might be something as simple as the itsy bitsy spider the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again and if you want to make it more vigorous you can do it faster or maybe i'm a little teapot find out what kind of nursery rhymes they know how to do and would like to do for a brain break for older children, I want to keep it challenging so they're engaged in it, maybe some multiple steps. So maybe we can talk about working with exercises and doing it in a fun, random way. So I get a deck of cards, and for each suit in the deck of cards, I have a different activity. So for the diamonds, we will do high knees, and then maybe for the hearts, we're going to do some lunges. The clubs, we'll do squats, and for the spades, we'll do jumping jacks. Right, so the value of the card will tell you how many that you have to do. So for example, if you pick the four of clubs, that's gonna be four squats, all right? So everybody does four squats. Or maybe you decide to do um, three cards and you do three activities back to back in sequence. Now you can also do an activity that is involving things you have in your outside area or in your yard. Maybe you have a quick running route where you run from the back door to a tree, to the fence, back to the door, right? Or maybe you can change it up and do it multiple times. Or instead of running, you, you run to the tree, but then you hop to the fence and you skip to the door. You know, find different ways of kind of doing it something that is going to be physical in a very short period of time. Whatever it is, come up with activities that are going to be appealing and come from both you and your child as options for brain breaks. Here are some other brain breaks you can use. This one's called double double. When I say double, clap your hands. Double. For this, the palms go out, and for that, the palms go in towards you. During the this and the that, if you have a partner, you're touching hands, and if they're doing a brain break by themselves, they can slap their lap. Here's the rhythm and the sequence and the cadence. It goes like this. Double, double this, double, double that. Double this, double that, double, double this, that. Or double, double this, double, double that. Double this, double that, double, double this, that. If you want to challenge them, take out the this and the that and clap it out to compound words like ice cream. Double, double ice, double, double cream. Double ice, double cream, double, double ice cream. You can pick out one to three compound words and have a nice significant brain break. Any song with physicality also works. So you could sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. For that song, you can change the idea out and have 
a new activity by changing the words and changing the physicality. When you look and you see, use your eyes. When you look and you see, use your eyes. When you look and you see, all the things there are to see. When you look and you see, use your eyes. And then have them very quickly point to five things in the room that are blue. Or they can go touch three things in the room that are lower than a doorknob. Now to set up a routine. You want to have a way to get into your brain break and get out of it. Maybe you say something, like when you start recognizing those cues where your child needs a brain break, you might say, it's time for a brain break. Or you give them the idea of saying, when you want to take a brain break, you can say, it's time for us or me to take a brain break. And you can maybe say, when you're done with the brain break, how do we get back to our work? It's time to go back and grow our brains. When you talk about a routine that's agreed upon by you and your child, you set up a routine to make it be more efficient. And you might even have a sound or a ringtone that you use to signal when you're going into a brain break or when you're coming out of one. That just makes your brain break more efficient when you actually have to use them throughout the day. Now, on our other serious tips and tricks for learning at home, Megan talks about brain breaks with some other very cool strategies for supporting positive behavior. So check that out as well. First, identify when you're going to need a break. It's going to be different for every child, so look for those cues and patterns. Then, provide choices that come from both you and the child, and then set up a routine so you know how to get into the brain break and how to get out of it. That way they're more efficient throughout the day. Enjoy taking your break with Brain Breaks. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.